Alright, what up? Um, I'm just going to give a quick intro to this video. I'm about to bring you through um, like a three day period where I do two strength training sessions and I just kind of touch on how I'm focusing on strength um, and just some important things and some of the main takeaways is just that when you're training just for strength, you want to train frequently um, and without too much volume. So when I say frequently, you want to be like touching some moderately heavy weights like three to four times a week um, doing different exercises, but you don't want to do too much volume so you can recover. Um, and strength training is, is as much neurological um, as it is um, associated with muscle size. So it's not just about having big muscles, it's about having um, a nervous system that can fire quickly, um, which is a skill. Um, and there's also some cannabis stock in here too. Um, yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to touch on, yeah, it's important how, just how, how I'm focusing on strength and how um, also with when you're focusing on strength, it's, you don't want to be doing too many other things. Like you don't want to be doing too many high intensity interval things or even too much accessory work because it takes a lot of recovery. Um, so sometimes less is more with strength training. Last thing I want to add for the intro to this video is, well, 2010 called and wants their shirt back. <laughs> um, but also, uh, my wife made that joke to me, so it, it made me laugh because it's so true. Um, when you're training for strength, you actually shouldn't fail reps too often because going to like true failure is very stressful. It's okay to miss reps once in a while, but for the most part, like you should be making 90% of your lifts, um, even more, 95%. Like you should hover that line because you just want to train good mechanics and you want to train your nervous system making these like fast lifts. Um, and then there is a time and place to go to failure and test your true limits, but it's not too often because like, you don't want to cause too much stress. But as you'll see, like I'm lifting heavy, as I said, in that eight, a lot in that 85 to 90% range. Um, and yeah, so like pushing yourself, but also knowing your limits. Okay, all right, let's cut to the video in three, two, one. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away Look at that rainbow though. <laughs> that is insane. That's the best part right there. Look at this though. God is unreal. Look how beautiful that is. The sky is literally on fire. How beautiful is that? Look at something like that and tell me God isn't real. Action! <laughs> um, all right, so I just finished up doing some lifting um, and I did some uh, something I've never done before, which you saw me do some split snatches and I worked up to 240 pounds, which I totally surprised myself. Um, so that was really fun. I love trying new things. Um, I'm definitely going to do that exercise again. It was just, it, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun and I see, yeah, I, uh, my body seemed to like it. Um, making the split snatch great again <laughs> um and then i did some squats and some uh some snatch pulls um and that was a good day um now i'm about to unwind um and roll up some of this garlic mince that i got the other day um which is a super it's like so funky and earthy as i said um it's absolutely coated in trichomes. It's like sweet and funky at the same time. It's insane. It's so hard to describe it. Um, but it's such a sedating strain. And as I said, yeah, it has a lot of CBG in it, um, which is like a really strong cannabinoid and very strong anti-inflammatory. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to roll up some of this. It's, it's a little late. It's like... It's a, it's a, this is the first late night vlog I've done. <laughs> and so yeah, I, I'm gonna chat now. I'm gonna start rolling this up. I'm just gonna kinda let the footage roll. Um and just kinda talk as I as I do. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna roll up a a yummy dube and uh, just talk to you guys while I do it. Um Alright. YouTube I wish I could like show the butt. I don't know like because I'm obviously I don't have many subscribers, so oh yeah. Plug, if you like what I'm doing, or if you have any content ideas, drop a comment down below, but also um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe, you know, and yeah, drop some, com drop some uh, content ideas, because I'm kind of down to, to film whatever. Um, so whatever you guys want to see, drop it down below. Um, yeah, I wish I could show some of this bud, but YouTube would be tripping out, and so um, I don't have... Yeah, I, I'm trying to like build a, a channel, so whenever my videos get age restricted, obviously like no one sees it because I don't have a following. So, um, so yeah, if you guys want to see crazy videos, subscribe and tell me what to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, in this video, I want to talk about like the keys to building strength. I would love to do try to be a competitive athlete again, um, but. When we're talking about sports, I'm talking about competitive crossfit, but in general, when you're talking about sports, strength takes like the longest to build. It's a very stressful uh, process on your body. You have to, you have to train heavy weights to stress your body out. You have to eat enough food. And you also have to get plenty of rest because like the process of like of building muscle and for like your nervous system and to adapt um, to being able to to synchronize and work better and and fire together because a lot of a lot of strength is just um, 
is your nervous system working as one to to recruit all your muscle fibers together simultaneously and so it's as much of a neur it's as much of a neural drive component as it is a muscular component um, so you need adequate rest and strength training um, so as I'm focusing this summer on building some strength and trying to get like I just want to see if I can get as strong as I've ever been before I, before I try to build like some endurance back um, because it's kind of hard to do both at the same time and strength takes so long to build so that's my only focus right now so so if I did, so some keys for for strength training are you have to lift pretty heavy weights in like the a moderate amount of like 80 to 90 percent of your maxes and different lifts with good form um, to to stress your body out and to give it to send it the signals to to a grow muscle and also for your brain and your nervous system to or to learn how to reorganize themselves better to move and apply more force um, faster the trick is that you also don't want to do too much volume because if you apply too much stress to your body you can't recover and like your nervous system get is too tired and so you just won't recover in time for the next session so it's very much like you need to do enough but you need to not do too much it's like minimal effective dose um, and, and yeah so and, and when you're doing strength training you don't want to be doing too much on the side because like you don't build the strength when you're lifting the weights you build the strength recovering um, so like after you apply stress getting rest and deep relaxation is so important um, and that's what I'm doing with this cannabis, um, some garlic mints, such a good strain for like deep relaxation and like just putting your body in that, just that super relaxed state. For example, an athlete like during a competitive season or something, that's not when you put on muscle because like you're so active. So like it's better to like put on muscle and like, like if you want to focus on strength, um, you have to really prioritize that and make sure that like your your lifestyle in general isn't too stressful like you're not like like you don't want to be doing a ton of cardio you don't want to be taking tons of step like so many steps every day like you want to reserve some energy for recovery because like the process of like going to lift heavy weights um, is a stressful process and your body needs time to um, time to recover some days. Um, as you'll see in the past video, I just like built up to like a heavy split snatch I say which I've never done then just built up to one set of three back squat and then one set of ten back squat and then did a um, a few sets of snatch pulls like uh, Three sets of two so like in total that volume is not a lot. It was one top set of snatch um, two sets of back squats and three sets of two on pulls which is only six reps um, so the volume wasn't high, the intensity was there, the weight, it wasn't super light. Um, but yeah, so you just, and then, I, and yeah, I'm not doing much else. Like the, the other, like aside from strength training, I'll do some cardio, like the elliptical or the bike or go for a long walk, but I'm not doing high intensity interval training or anything right now because that's so stressful on your nervous system too. So it's like, if you're trying to get really strong and you're also trying to do these high intensity intervals and build like in, like a, a lot of capacity your body doesn't have the recovery capabilities especially if you like as me as a natural athlete like you don't ha like you need to pick and choose your battles and like train things at different times of the year for different goals i just sum this down to like some quick keys to building strength is you have to lift moderately heavy weights um, in the 80 to 90 percentile of your one rep max for like reps. Uh, but you don't want to do too much volume. You just want to hit the right amount of volume where like you, you still have some left in the tank. You do not want to leave the gym smoked because you have to recover and maybe a day later you have to come back and do it again. Um, so lift heavy weights, don't do too much volume and also don't just yeah don't work out too much like make sure you're getting adequate rest get sleep 
Um, you have to eat a lot of food and just don't, yeah, don't do too much. Like don't feel like, because the process of, of gaining strength is slow and it's stressful on the body. All right, let me just finish rolling this real quick. Been taking too long. Stop, just ranting. And also, I guess one other thing I had for building muscles, like just pick exercises you like. Like if you're just starting in the gym, I mean, you see me doing some Olympic weightlifting things, which I like doing, and I love that. But it's also like you can just do squat, bench, and deadlift, or like the push press and the front squat, and you know, you just just pick some compound movements that you can lift moderately heavy weights at, and just work with good form over a long period of time, and don't do too much. It's, you don't have to do everything super fancy to, to get strong. It's more just a repetitive process um, and having patience um, and giving it, yeah, just giving yourself the, the time it takes to, to get strong and to, um, yeah, let your body adapt to, to the stress. I'm kind of tired, as you can tell, so this... Alright, I'm done rolling this thing. Um, I don't think I can show it. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to figure this out as I go along. Uh, but, yeah, so I just want to touch on, quick, just sum this video up quick. Just some, some keys to building strength um, are do compound movements um, at moderately, like, heavy weight with good form. Um, be consistent over a long period of time. Don't try to get strong too fast. It takes time. Be patient. Um, and don't try to do everything all at once. It's, um, you know, keep it simple is essentially, you know, follow a strength program and don't do too much. Give your body the time and the resources it needs to recover um, after you do strength training. Um, and yeah, so like that deep relaxation is so important and that's what this helps with this cannabis plant. Um, so I'm about to, to light up, um, get some cannabinoids, help with that relaxed state and just really go into, yeah, just go into a state of really relaxing here on the couch, going to throw something on TV um, and just recovering. I, yeah, I'm going to work out again tomorrow um so i will catch you guys then i don't i forget exactly what i'm doing tomorrow but i'll grab the camera and bring you guys along um, and i hope you guys have a good fourth it's the week before the fourth of july right now i'm going to a wedding so this will be like the last video i drop probably for like a, a week or two um so if you have video ideas drop them down below have a great fourth please subscribe Drop a comment, like, and um, give me some content ideas with fitness and cannabis and, and health, um, anything related to that. Um, I would love to touch on. And, and yeah, and I'm, I'm going to spend the summer really just trying to build some strength back. Um, I'll bring you guys along with me um, and just show you guys how I'm doing it. And, and yeah, I'm... The main thing I wanted to get across is when you're trying to get strong, don't do too much. Just follow a strength program and give your body the chance to recover. Um, don't try to also be training for like a, a like a 5K, you know, at the same time as you're trying to get really strong because like your body can only do so much at once and you need to... Yeah, you need to just save your resources and, and dedicate your time to what's most important to you right now. Um, and, and strength is one of the things, like, in terms of physical abilities, that just takes the longest to develop. Um, and it requires, it's just, it's very stressful on the body. So you need to apply the stress and then you need stillness and rest um, and good food so your body can can like handle the inflammation that's going on and, and, and get better from the stress.
um, because the stress is like what sends the signals to your body but then like the cells in your body need to regenerate um, from the stress and it's just a cycle over and over again um, and if you do too much you don't recover so you you don't get stronger you actually get weaker because there's too much stress on your body so it's very much a trial and error process and, and yeah um, I've definitely been the guy that's done too much before and you just end up beating yourself up and, and you're doing yourself a disservice um, so yeah and cannabis is one of the things that like yeah again it's it goes with fitness. It can really help you recover and, and handle the inflammation. Um. I'll catch you guys at the gym tomorrow, yeah? I wanted to add one more thing with regards to like strength training. Um, so in comparison, if you're trying to get strong versus if you're trying to add on muscle, um, and again, in fitness, the answer to most questions is like, it depends because everything is so individual, but in general, for strength training, like I said, less is often more in terms of when you're doing strength training, you're handling heavy loads. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do too much of it because a lot of times you're, muscles recover faster than your nervous system and when you're doing strength training it's so nervous system driven um, in terms of yes your muscles are lifting the weights but it they're it's also like your muscles are only lifting the weights because your brain and your spine and, and all your nerves are telling them to and and they're sent like your brain is sending electrical signals throughout your body um, to contract these muscle fibers all at once and apply a certain amount of force. Um, and when you do repeated bouts of like strength, it's stressful on the body. And like when your body's fatigued, it doesn't send those signals as well. So like you're not able to lift as much weight, um, because your, your, the signals in your body aren't working as, as, as well as if you were to like recover for a couple more days that that signal those electrical signals that like um that contract your muscles they will become better your like your nervous system um can become better it's like a skill at at firing these neural pathways and that's that is a lot of times also how you get stronger. It's not just by adding muscle. It is, it's not, yes, it's not just by adding muscle that you get strong. It's by your brain and the neural pathways in your brain learning to fire better and faster and more efficiently. Um, and then in regards to if you're trying to add as much muscle as you can and you don't care about strength, then a lot of times you can do more volume, but you can do, um, so you don't, you don't have to do as much weight. It's more about sending blood to the muscle. So doing a lot of pump work and all that stuff is good for adding muscle because it tears your muscle fibers and it also pumps more blood to those muscle fibers to help them recover and grow. Um, so that's why like strength training versus muscle training or like, or training for muscle are, are a little bit different because strength training is often more, um, driven by the the nervous system and like your neural drive whereas like muscles are obviously yeah it's more it's more driven by like you just want your muscle fibers to grow and you're not stressing out your nervous system as much um because you're not yeah when you when you're if you train more volume for muscle your brain and nervous system don't have to work as hard because you're not moving as ma as heavy as heavy of loads at um at such fast speeds so so your body doesn't have to fire these these electrical pulses like your brain doesn't have to send these signals as fast and as hard which is stressful instead it has to pump blood and and keep your like like drain the um, the hydrogen ions that build up in your muscles from like doing pump work. It's not actually lactic acid, like people say. It's hydro It's a buildup of hydrogen ions. Um, 
But yeah, so so I guess what I'm saying is it's just it's two different things like training for strength and for muscle. They're not they're not the same thing. Yeah, drop a comment down below. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the morning. Sleep good.